Welcome everyone to today's second webinar uh, on Tuesday training. And as Grant had mentioned, these are very, very important uh, 50 minute webinars for you to attend. These webinars are gonna provide a roadmap for you to take advantage of this new business opportunity that we all have with the expansion and the intersection of communications and IT. And we know from experience, and also as Grant had mentioned, I've delivered these same training webinars for the Motorola channel partners. All of this has been custom built for you. We are trying to provide for you a simple roadmap for how you can grow in a very risk mitigated step-by-step -step way to upgrade your company to take advantage of these new opportunities around uh, wireless technologies that are emerging, the broader portfolio of products that Motorola is bringing to market and the way they're redefining the radio uh, uh, and communication space. So we call it Project Elevate and our job is to help you elevate your business, your competencies, uh, your go-to-market strategies so that you can re-engineer your business for more value to the customers that you serve and very importantly, profitability. Very quickly, for those of you that have not uh, met me before, uh, my name is Greg Eckstein. I'm based in Singapore. I've been in the radio communications industry working as a consultant for Motorola, um, working and uh, supporting as a consultant ACE for many months. And um, I, half of my career has been on the vendor side and I was a partner for six years. So that's kind of the unique angle that I wanna to bring to you today. And I'm gonna be talking to you as a dealer owner, as if I were, uh, you know, owned the business myself. And I'm gonna tell you what I was thinking and how we did it. Um, the company that I ran was a value added reseller. So we did the same thing. We bought equipment from Motorola or from a, an IT provider. We added more value to it and we sold it as a solution to our end users. So for those of you that don't know me and you'd like to know more, you can just go to LinkedIn and check Greg Eckstein. Um, objectives of the program is that we wanna build a, bed, a virtual education series for you. And this is gonna go on into 2021 because the opportunity is so great and the amount of information that needs to be transferred is so great. ACE, as a value added distributor, part of their job is to help you evolve. And that's what we're gonna do every Tuesday. And we're gonna tell you how the industry's changing. We're gonna give you insights. Secondly, when I was a dealer, I always wanted to know what are the other dealers doing that's working and not working. So secondly, we're gonna teach you industry best practices um, to, to help you understand what other dealers have tried and worked and what other dealers have tried and did not work. So we call those best practices. And ultimately what we want to do for you, and this is very important, everyone, please listen to this point very closely. Ultimately, what we want you to help you do here on point number two is to build service, you know, annuity based reoccurring services revenue. I know that you're all radio distributors and you've been distributing radios for more than 20 years. But the, the market space is changing and that is one of the new opportunities that you have is to provide more services by providing, and you'll see reoccurring SLA means service level agreements, okay, to your customers, you are also COVID proofing your business. If your business today is project based and we call that lumpy, you get a deal and you've got a lot of money, then you, you, know, you go down and you get another deal and it goes like this. By having an annuity-based services stream, it's gonna smooth your revenue and your profit. And you're gonna continually on a monthly basis be delivering certain types of services that your customers need today that's gonna increase your profitability, your blended gross profit, and diversify your business and bring more value to the customers you serve. That is a huge objective for, you, uh, for us in this series. Um, transformation. Um, and, and this is, uh, uh, you know, uh, the word system integrator, it's a very big word for a radio dealer. I know that. 
And, uh, and we're going to, you know, uh, for the next three Tuesdays, we're really going to challenge you um, to uh, think about who, what customers you, do you serve and what types of integration do they need? What type of IT do they need in addition to their comms? Okay. And these are all opportunities that you can take advantage of because if you don't take advantage of these opportunities, it's conceivable that your customers will engage other IT providers to address those IT needs that are immediately in the communications environment and potentially maybe start selling radios one day, which we don't want to happen. We want you to spread out and take that space that's currently av available now and start to broaden your skill set. Um, ultimately, what we're hoping to do is to have all of you become system integrators or strategic integrators, especially by 2022. And this is the roadmap. Tuesday training is your roadmap to help you get there so that uh, we can demystify this for you and help you get there in a very risk mitigated way. Obviously, um, there's ongoing support uh, should you need it after these, um, these webinars throughout the course of the week. And we'll give you plenty of opportunities to, you know, I know that you know how to contact ACE how to contact Grant. And I know Grant is a very important person for the ACE dealers nationally in supporting you. And um, this is also a way of supporting Grant. And, and by providing those skills, we wanna teach you how to fish, okay? Uh, because there's business opportunity for you. Now, why is all this happening? Let's look at the technology journey that we've all been on. And we all started in analog. Um, we've gone into digital. I remember working with Motorola in, uh, I think it was 2012, when they wanted to launch this digital thing called Moto Turbo. Um, well, now digital is a thing of the past and we're into IP and, uh, you know, kind of the networking space and the cloud is already here with Wave. So it's almost accelerating, if that's possible. It's actually happening faster than all of us thought that it would happen. Um, and you're going to see a lot more subscription-based technologies released by communications providers and manufacturers as we go forward. So as the slide says, get ready for the cloud. That's what Tuesday training is about. We're going to help you get ready for the cloud. The Tuesday training, here's the four topics we're covering. Last week, I talked about new normal. This is how do you, how do you get intimate with your customers in a remote engagement. Now I know in Australia, the, the state borders are starting to open and you're very fortunate in Australia and New Zealand to be in the situation you're in because in Singapore, it's not like that for us. We still can't travel. We're still very much in a cautious, near, nearly lockdown type situation. So the first webinar last um, uh, Tuesday, and if you didn't see it, there's a recording. Um, it just was sent out yesterday as a reminder for today, there's a link to the recording. And in that webinar, we teach you, how do you define the right target accounts? How do you build a social selling strategy to build personal brand, to create awareness about what you are and what you do? Today is adopt. This is the first baby step. If you're still being transactional and just selling radios and not selling solutions, your next step is adopt. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. Next Tuesday, we're gonna talk about transfer optimization. Optimization is having the skill set to do all of the, 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 the technical skills required where the comms intersects with the IT environment within your customer. Nobody is covering the IT space. There is an opportunity there for you to provide and optimize that environment. So next Tuesday is about the optimization of the, the, the comms and IT uh, uh, space within your customer. And then the, the following Tuesday's transformation. We know many of you won't make it to transformation, but we need to give you a lighthouse, you know, a destination out there where you can aspire to try to get to. Transformation is about having a seat at the uh, digital uh, strategy of your customers and being able to, to talk about that digital transformation that's gonna to require to drive their business forward. And of course, the communications becomes less important once we get to that stage. And of course, your, your role and the, your deal size, um, your blended gross profit, everything is exponentially higher than what it would be now. 
What are we talking about today? First, we're gonna talk about what does ADOPT look like? So I'm gonna describe for you, what does a, a radio dealer who is currently in ADOPT mode, what do they look like? What, how do they make money? What are the pros? What are the cons? And how can you, how can you uh, better engage with your customers? Um, we'll talk about outcomes. Um, today, companies don't you know, invest in radio communications and wireless communications technologies um, j just to fix a small problem. They're doing it to drive a business outcome. So we're gonna move away from the notion of, hey, you should sell a solution to your end users. And we're gonna take that, go you know, those goalposts higher and say, we need to sell a business outcome to our customers. So we're gonna also give you kind of that roadmap. And then finally, talk about the different ways that you can do that and what some of your choices are. Um, for some of you, you may want to create what we call an ecosystem, uh, 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 ecosystem of partners that you work with. Maybe if, if you don't want to invest in the IT skills that you think your customers need, there's other companies that uh, we can introduce you to where they can deliver on the IT side, you continue to do your radio side, but you still protect your account. And you, know, you, you make sure that other providers are not able to come in and do that in the future. So there's a lot of different ways to think about it and to potentially do it. And our job is to give you all of these ideas and all of these tools. And then you, you ultimately, um, you will make the decision about how you move forward. So here's where we are kind of on the continuum. I, I like to use a quadrant to explain you know, the difference between you know, adopt. You can see adopt is not in the lower left-hand corner. You know, it's moving more and more towards the intersection of those four. Next week is optimized. Next week, the following week is transformation. So what's driving this? Why, why are we having to change our business, Greg? Um, you, you know, why can't we just keep doing what we've been doing successfully for so many years? Um, there's, there's one main reason, and that is our major partner, um, all of our major partners, Motorola is moving to redefine what the wireless uh, communications technologies um, are for the future. They're redefining that space and they're doing it because they can do it. They are the largest by far brand that's out there, the most reputable, been around the longest, and they are acquiring other technologies around the radio that uh, are required uh, for the solutions that your customers need for their business. So as you can see at the top, you know, PCR, of course, accessories, we're now unified communications with Wave. All of you saw uh, our launch of Wave back in February. Incident response, uh, video analytics is a big one, Vigilon, and of course, managed services and support, which is what we're here to teach you to do today. So those are the products. And here's a better look at it. Look, look at this. Just in the last five years, I did a search on all the companies that Motorola has, has acquired. And you can see there, uh, these are not your traditional um, uh, radio communications, walkie-talkie type products. These are um, all different types of technologies across the spectrum. All of them need pre-sales skills. All of them need post-sales skills. All of them need implementation support and integration. So you should be looking at this slide thinking, wow, there's a lot of opportunity. How, how can I take advantage of that opportunity? So um, th that, that's kind of what's driving it. I wanted to share a Motorola slide with, with you that um, I think really does a good job of depicting you know, the situation you can see at the top. You've got all of you, the dealers, you guys are selling to your customers and you're selling a broad range of different things. And ultimately what these uh, uh, end up turning into in terms of your opportunities is the traditional LMR, moving then to a system integrator and then moving further into a strategic integrator, all of them designed to really extract the value of the technology that's there, build out those capabilities. And by doing that, that brings more value to your end user customers and also it maximizes your profitability. 
So this is a very, very important topic that we're discussing today. So let's first, let's start by talking about ADOPT, and I am going to take the liberty of defining what the ADOPT environment looks like, okay? And um, some of you may think that this is a little bit ambitious, but this, you know, I work on a global basis with Motorola, and I get to see their dealers all over the world and what everyone is doing and how they're adapting and adopting uh, uh, their environments. And this is pretty much what it looks like. On the far left, if you are what we would consider a transactional type uh, uh, dealer, then you would be delivering and selling and supporting standalone multi-site types, uh, comms community infrastructure, integrated, uh, you know, turbo net type solutions and selling products, you know, the accessories and the, the, the things that you've done in the past. Now, as I said last week, there is nothing wrong with selling analog. We, you should continue to support your analog customers, continue to run that business. But remember by being an analog, there's an inherent risk there that potentially someone could, else could come in with a digital solution and someone else could come in that has services capabilities that are broader than just the, the radio. So that's what we're trying to help you do here. And column number two is adopt. And that's what we're talking about today. So let me give you my definition of adopt. That is the, you would be able to monitor and proactively provide services which uh, would, would come as an alert to you uh, being, being the monitor. And you can proactively contact your customers before they ever even know that they have a problem. Um, that is a very simple technology that's currently available that would allow you to do that. Integrated communications and supporting infrastructure, you would, you would have capabilities there and a managed network infrastructure. So I want you to think about what you're currently doing now. So are you more of a, of a transact? As you can see on the bottom, do you implement, you know, your implementation have blind spots of the supporting technology? If you feel like that, then maybe you're, in, you're still in the transact phase. Um, do, do you know when your client has a problem and call them before they know it? Then you're probably in the adopt phase. Optimize, I'll talk about very briefly. This is really kind of a fully managed service, right? Between communications and IT. Um, there'd be a, certainly a cloud element, wide area connectivity, security as a service. I would, you would then be into having, uh, touching the edges of cybersecurity, okay? And physical security through a Vigilon and, and video analytic type technologies, um, incident response type things that you're seeing come from Motorola. And then finally, transform. And that is, uh, as I mentioned, the holy grail, infrastructure as a service. It's a, 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 uh, a light post for you that's way out there in the future. So this is our continuum. Here's an example of what we think the services would be. And I want you to look very closely here at, um, and I've highlighted the, the middle uh, part of the image, as you can see, it says adopt there. And, um, you know, a, an adopt company would have, you know, uh, kind of, you know, enterprise operating system capabilities, tools for continual improvement, implementation support, solution architecture, managed monitoring type things, and a little bit of managed network infrastructure, potentially. Optimize, as you can see next to that, those are extended deeper into the managed systems, into the fully managed IT services, and then of course, transformation. So again, just, just take a minute and think, think about what capabilities do you have? Um, and, and these are certainly, I, I, I would think the scope of, of capabilities that you might need. I'll just pause for a second in case Grant would like to add anything to what I've said so far, or you know, maybe I'm missing something here on this image that you might think is important. Grant? Uh, you're on mute um, if you're uh, not aware. Okay, he must have stepped away. That's okay. So let's do a poll. Are you currently transforming your business model to address the IT networking needs of your customer. So I'll just launch that poll now. Just give us a yes or no. 
we've got a pretty big group today, and um, I'd like to get 80% uh, uh, answered before I show the results. So we're currently at 46%, and if we could have some more votes, that would be great. I think we have um, a number of internal people here from ACE on this as well. Um, if I could get, uh, I'll give you five more seconds, see if we can get a couple more, couple more uh, votes. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, very good. This is great. 80% um, of you um, are currently transforming your business model to address the IT networking needs. That's fantastic. Please stay on that route, everyone. Um, it is something, um, it's like getting in shape. <laughs> it's something that you need to have the discipline to do every day to make solid progress that you can see. It's not gonna happen overnight because your natural environment is, is in the communication space. So developing the IT networking, I know it's challenging. That's why we're having the Tuesday training. Hi, Grant, I, I can see that you're back. I just uh, paused to see if you had anything that you wanted to add. I just wanted to add that what Greg is saying is 100% correct, guys. And don't forget um, that we are here to support you as well. Um, I was going to jump in towards the end, but probably is a good time to raise it now is the system integration. The system designs, the system configurations, and this move to the IT world. We're here to assist you. We've got resources. We've got um, the, the expertise to help you guys through this, this hoop. So keep talking to me and in any way possible. I, I'm dealing with a lot of you at the moment on quite big and sophisticated systems. Um, some of you are pretty scared to touch them to start with, but once we get our teeth into them, you all start understanding it pretty quickly. So don't be scared of it. You know, we are here. We've got the support of Motorola. We've got the support of a good IT company. So we can take on any projects that you think you are worthy of. All right. Doesn't matter how big or small it is. Don't be scared of it. Let's tackle them all. Okay. Let's go for them. That's a, that's a great point, Grant. And um, I, I know everyone being a partner myself, we were hesitant to move to different technologies and we, we weren't sure if we would... Uh, you know, be able to um, properly deploy them or support them. But think about this as a journey, okay? Because you can't become an optimized partner until you are an adopt partner, uh, uh, company, I'm sorry. And, and, and think about it as a progression. Grant has made it very clear. You have a tremendous amount of support. Please feel free to put your teeth into it. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. And later in this discussion today, we're going to make you aware of the actual breadth of support that you have that's out there. Okay, good. Thank you for that information. Let's, let's look at, you know, what we're talking about here. I think this is a really important slide. So as a partner executive myself, everyone, um, one thing that we can do, just like you, is that you can sell existing products to existing customers. There's no risk. There's no cost. However, we all know that that is not a good long-term sustainable business strategy. We have to embrace these new technologies. So what we do, all of us do, is that we sell a new product into our existing customer. If you think about what I just said, that is a cross-sell, upsell movement. It's an existing customer and you're gonna add more services that you've never delivered before. It's an existing customer and you're gonna sell them body-worn cameras. That's a new product into an existing customer. The risk is only 20% and the cost is only 20% as opposed to going and taking an existing product into a new customer. That has double the risk. Why? Because you don't know that company. You don't know that communications and IT environment. So it's more risky. And then finally, something none of us should do right now, do not sell a new product to a new company right now, because number one, uh, the world has not settled down from the, the, the um, impact of what is happening now. And uh, secondly, uh, with remote engagement and COVID, it's too hard to go out and find a net new customer these days. The best strategy that we can all deploy right now, I'll just go backwards two slides, this strategy right here, 
sell a new product into an existing customer. Now, remember, you've got, when I say new product, a product can also be a service. You can sell a monitoring service to an existing communications customer, or you can go in and sell body worn cameras, you know, to those mines, you know, a mining customer that you have, or an event security type uh, 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 customer that you have that needs a body worn camera. So cross sell, upsell is the strategy right now into the existing base and expand your capabilities. Now is the time to learn everyone. So we have a methodology for today, next Tuesday, optimize, and then the next Tuesday for transform, we have a methodology for teaching you about each. The first slide, as you can see in front of you, is what does an adopt company look like? The next slide is how do you make money? The next slide is what are the pros of having an adopt business model? The fourth slide is what are the cons of having an adopt business model? And then the fifth slide is around, you know, what would your customer experience? So we, we use five dimensions on, on three different business strategies here, adopt, optimize, transform. So what do they look like? This would be a solution-minded firm focusing on optimizing the comm space, okay? So again, this is not transactional. This isn't drop off six radios um, and, and go to the next one. This is understanding what are you using the radios for? Where are you, you know, uh, how are you going to integrate them? Um, what are you going to do at night with them? Um, what types of accessories, you know, what types of a problem are you trying to solve? So this would be the mentality of an adopt company. This is your culture. Secondly, what do they look like? These companies, you would be focused on attaching annuity based service offerings and investing in technical resources who can support this initiative from a pre-sales all the way to post-sales. Now you might be thinking to yourself, you know, Greg, I don't have a portfolio of services. You know, like forget about annuity-based service offerings. How do I build a services portfolio? As Grant mentioned, give us a call. Tell us who you are serving. You know, part dealers, statistically everyone, everyone on the phone, Statistically speaking, you sell to the same customers 82% of the time. Think about what I just said and, ask, and think about who are my customers. Think about whether or not I said that's right. It may not be exactly 82%, but I guarantee you, you're probably selling to the same type of companies over and over because you're building those, I call it a language. Your people are learning to speak that language in the mining companies or you can speak the language within logistics companies. You know how things hook up between IT and comms. So you need to build a portfolio of services for your customers that you sell uh, disproportionately, and they should be on annuity based, not project-based services. This is monthly, $500 a month, $1,000, $2,000 a month, and we're gonna do the following services for you and we're gonna monitor it remotely and proactively be on top of it for you. Finally, typically specialization in vertical markets and, and being the best at you know, mining or being the best at you know, rental equipment for events or being the best at you know, logistics, right, uh, et cetera. So um, it's a vertical focus. It's very specific in what you do and very, very um, uh, uh, solution oriented. How do adopt companies make money? Um, first of all, through what you're doing now, you're gonna continue to make money on the, 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 the products that you sell. And as I mentioned last week, you're gonna make more money on the Motorola stuff that you're selling because of our Empower program. You are uh, accumulating points that you're gonna be able to uh, uh, exchange for, for merchandise. So you're gonna to continue to make that money plus more money. But secondly, your services business. This is the big difference. This is where you make money. So for those of you that are on the, the, the training now and you're measuring your salespeople with GP only, okay? How much GP did you do this month? You've gotta move away from GP only as a commission factor. 
you need to start measuring what we call blended GP, blended gross profit. That means for every comms solution that you sell, X amount has to be in radio margin and Y amount needs to be in services margin. When you blend those two, the, the, hard, the, the, the radio and the services margin together and you average it, it becomes what we call blended gross profit. So blended gross profit will force the salespeople to attach services, to sell training, to bring more value. And these should be on annuity basis, okay? Now, instead of having a lumpy business that's project-based, we got a bunch of money, then we don't have any money. We got a bunch of money, then we don't have any money. You're gonna, be, you're gonna have more of a, of, a, of a smooth revenue and GP stream that you can plan better and, and, and take off the pressure. You also COVID proof, COVID can come back, right? So right now is the time to get these services portfolios built and selling those services to, to put an insurance policy in place against the return of COVID and the impact it could have. And yep, that's my last point while I was getting excited and talking, uh, I was already talking about the final point, the subscription annuity-based service level agreement, SLA, everyone means service level agreements. And these uh, are agreements that you have with your customers to provide certain services and meet certain levels of quality in that regard. Okay, cool. Pros, what are the pros? Well, first of all, um, you can leverage Ace's brand and you can le leverage Motorola's brand. Um, this, is, this, is, this, this will help you um, by, by showing the quality of the solution that you're selling and also being able to show that previous slide that I showed you with the broad range of solutions. Your end user customers, they are also being forced to transform. So showing these slides that I've shown you with a broad range and redefining the communications and, and uh, 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 definition, the, 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 the scope of those technologies, you have the ability to do that. We have those slides, we'll give those slides to you, you make that a part of your, your presentation. You show your customers, we're not just doing radios anymore. We have a broad range of all your security needs. Um, I think another pro is that you, you become an influencer. Now this ties into your social selling I was talking about. You need then to promote the fact of what you're doing and the solutions and the value that you're bringing, you need to tell people about that, okay? And, and then, and connect with your customers on LinkedIn and make sure that you're able to constantly promote to that audience that you want. And finally, a huge pro is profitability, okay? And, 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 and really actively trying to transform and embracing change and embracing transformation of not only your, your business, but also your customers. What are the cons? Of, of moving from being transactional and just selling radios to, to um, becoming an adopt uh, business model. I don't think there's any cons. I, I honestly can't think of one con uh, associated with, with um, taking your business, you know, not if you're already at this level, I'm, I'm saying keep going. Keep, keep trying to learn something new every day. Go higher, go wider. So it starts like this, this is adopt. Now I want you to go like this. I want you to go higher in the account. I want your solution sizes to get bigger. And I want the scope of, of value and, and technology and services that you can provide to your customers to get broader and deeper, okay? So th there's no con, I can't think of one. Um, what would ACE like you to achieve? Incremental funnel, this will definitely increase your, your funnel and, and sales opportunities, um, you will be able to deliver business outcomes for your cu uh, customers. Um, this is important. People in today's world, they used to buy technology uh, to like a Band-Aid to, to just deal with a single issue. But now companies buy technology to drive a business outcome. It is core to how they run their business. And they have to depend on the communications and the IT platform in order for them to do what they do best. 
Third, I, I, for the second time now, I'd like to introduce a new idea to you. Please don't feel uh, apprehensive or threatened by this, but this is the future. If you feel that your customers are moving very rapidly to a solution that has more IT in it than it does comms, and you don't feel like you're ready, you can't hire an IT person fast enough, or you, you, you don't know how to go to IT, you can get a third party company to work under your brand, okay? So you still lead the deal, you still manage the relationship with your customer, but outsource the IT side. You give your customer one invoice for the comms and IT, you contract out the IT. This way you're able to meet that need. This way you're able to increase your deal size. This way you're able to learn more about the IT space. You will then be mentored by creating what we call a multi-partner ecosystem. So if you think of Ace and Grant, he's, he's actually a, a, a partner in your ecosystem. Ace is what you already have one partner. Grant is helping you design these solutions. So he's playing a role there. It's not your company only. So if you can imagine in the deployment, if you used a third party to deliver on the IT side, invoiced by your company, managed by your company, that is an option that you have. So I just wanna put that out there to get you thinking, okay? I'm not saying you should do it. I'm just saying that there are options out there for you in the short term to make sure that uh, other competitors aren't getting into your account. Great, um, can I add to that? Yes, yeah, yes, please. Thank you, Grant. Folks, let's not forget that it's not just Motorola here. Okay, we at ACE are endeavoring and growing every single day, as we hope you guys are. We are also bringing on board other technologies to assist us in this IT evolvement into the new world. Don't forget, we've got Cambium in our portfolio right now. So we've got a one-stop shop at the moment that can go right across from beginning to end, including the internal IT solutions, all right? Anything that needs to be done, backhaul, long-haul, mining systems where you've got to do point-to-point -point microwaves, point-to-multipoint microwaves. If you want to put in solutions for the mining um, camps um, with new Wi-Fi, there's a new Wi-Fi 6 platform that's just been launched. We'll do a new webinar for you on the whole Cambium portfolio. But don't forget that. Don't forget that we've got all of this right now available to be able to utilize all of this to leverage the solution. So once again, I'm going to reiterate, don't be scared to go after that new business. If somebody picks up the phone and calls you and says, we've got a solution required to achieve X, Y, Z, listen to them, bring it, let's talk. All right. There's a big bag of eggs we can dive into to try and find a solution for your customer, which you can leverage services off that Greg is pertaining to right here and now, which will be your ongoing SLA services. And that happens very quickly once you get into the IT world. All right. We have agreements in place at the moment with IT company to support us. They are really, really good. Um, and the guys are sharp. So if you need the assistance, guys, you have to talk to us. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. We also register big deals with both Cambium and Motorola, specific Motorola. If you bring us a big deal, we register with Motorola, that pertails and, and takes everybody else out of the loop as far as pricing goes. All right? But we can only do that if you're talking to us. So trust us. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. That's great feedback, Grant. And I'll just add one thing to that. Right now is the time to do it because the entire world is on pause. <laughs> so right now is the time to learn more things. Now, you know, a lot of us are working from home maybe. A lot of us are not wasting time in traffic. A lot of us are not flying and getting delays. We actually have more time and use that time to learn. And yep. uh, as Grant said, Grant said, you know, this is, inc as you can see, my sub bullet. These are incremental opportunities and leverage. Yeah, now is the time. Good, what would your customers experience as you move, as you move higher and higher into these solutions? What, you know, think about what they experience, right? So 
Typically, I think this would be related to IT networking, workplace safety, personal performance, right? That's, I think, what they're potentially or generally in, uh, investing in. Um, what, what would you need to do to convince them to invest, right? Um, I, I, you know, there's a number of things here, that, as you can see, uh, which, which may apply. Minimal downtime, um, having one throat to choke. Uh, I think that's a phrase that I learned over the years in Australia. And uh, that is, you know, by engaging your company, a single point, just like I said earlier, if you work with a third party, you know, I, 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 Grant has already said, Grant Ace is going to support you. If there's a problem, your customer is not going to call Grant. They're going to call you. So you are the one throat to choke. And, and that's what customers want. They don't want to call Ace and call you and then call a third party. So the, I think there's a whole bunch of value here um, in terms of, yeah, of, of how you can position this. And, you know, in, in terms of your proposals, everyone, in case you're not thinking like this, it should be built backwards from the solution they need. Um, as I mentioned last week, we have to sell differently now. Some people aren't going on site to work. So we have to ask questions over the phone or on a video conference. So try to uncover their business need. What outcome are they looking for? And don't worry about the complexity of your IT and comms solution yet. First, try to understand what they need as a business outcome. Then you come to ACE and, and, you, and, and we'll start you know, trying to mentor you and, and help you break down the problem and roll our sleeves up and come up with a solution and figure out what type of a, of a ecosystem do you need to support that, okay? Let me see if there's anything else here that I think is really big and important. I just wanna make sure I leave time for Q&A. Um, yeah, 4C, I think this is important. Um, you know, to transition yourself from being a comms provider to a trusted business advisor. Um, your customers will notice that you're taking on new challenges and they will have a different level of respect and regard for you because they know that you are bending over backwards to try and meet their needs. I think that is important. And um, I, I feel that there's a lot of empathy out there in the world right now. And, and we're, we can all see what other people are doing in order to, you know, remain working, remain relevant and, and, just never giving up. So I, I, I just like to call out that, you know, trusted business advisor. Um, there were two of you um, that responded on the poll that you don't feel that you've moved to a adopt business model yet. I believe there were eight of you that said you had. So I just want to show you the math behind a transactional business approach versus a adopt or solution approach. Here you can see, now this is just purely an example, everyone, um, really all, with all the colors, even made for impact <laughs> almost. And uh, in every way, if you look at my, the numbers, you know, the revenue numbers I'm using and the colors and stuff, you can see I'm, I'm trying to give you a shock factor to move you higher up the value chain. But if you're just selling a product, and of course I'm just making up all the numbers and it's a $10,000 transaction and you've got 15% margin, you can see on the bottom, the total blended gross profit is 15% on, on $10,000, which is $1,500 Australian dollars. But if you move to an adopt model um, and, and, and you are selling TurboNet and you're, you're putting in implementation services and monitoring, look at my deal size. My deal size goes from 10K it gets multiplied by three and it goes to 32K. And look at my blended gross profit. My blended gross profit goes from 15 to 35. But let's now make the tires hit the road. That is the difference between 11,300 in GP and 1,500 in GP. That's 10 times greater, almost. Eight times greater. So there, not only do you become a trusted business advisor, not only do you broaden and make your business more relevant and you add more value, you also make a tremendous amount more money. Um, and this is 
uh, and also you're COVID proofing your business because these are presumably annuity based, subscription based, monthly reoccurring invoicing that you're doing in order to deploy these services. Okay, so there's a, there's a lot of math there that also would give you good reason. Last week, I, I gave you an exercise. These are mental exercises, as you know. And I said, think about who are the top cost companies? You know, these would be existing customers that you're currently serving and, and who should you be calling on, you know, this week? Um, now this week for Tuesday training number two, uh, you can see I've moved my table out one more column. Uh, now you've identified the account and you've identified the account because you think that there's a business issue there. Now I want you to think, hopefully you've had the time to reach out to those companies. Now you're in a position to say, what do they really need? Okay. So everything that we're showing you here can be put on a table. Again, we can provide these tables for you, or you can just take a picture of the screen right now on your phone and build this table. I, I just built this real quick, right? In PowerPoint. So these things aren't difficult for you to do. My job is to give you the tool, give you the structure in your mind based on what other dealers are doing around the world. And then I want you to use these tools to build your strategy. Great, let's do another polling question. Based on this definition of adopt, are you currently proposing and implementing and supporting this type of a solution? Okay, so the last question was around transforma uh, transformation. Now we're saying, are you currently proposing and implementing and supporting this type of a solution? Please give us your answers, everyone, because our job is to support you. We are a value added distributor. So if there's a lot of you saying no, that tells us we need to reach out to you and somehow provide some mentoring or some type of support to get you there. If I could have a couple more responses, everyone, that would be great. If not, given my time limit, I'm going to go ahead and end this polling. Thank you very much, whoever just placed those last votes. It looks like three quarters of you are currently doing that. Fantastic. My advice is hopefully we've shown you something here that can help you broaden you know, your services portfolio to increase your blended gross profit or somehow bring more value. Um, for those of you, there's two of you that have said no, that you're not currently uh, proposing and implementing, please reach out to us um, and, and, and let's talk about why. And I'm sure it's because you need something to, to get you from where you are now. Typically my experience with dealers is that the first step is the hardest step, you know, because all of you are entrepreneurs, you're all very smart in your own right. And so there's no issue about being smart or anything. It's, it's, and as a business person in a COVID environment, I'm sure that you're just cautious thinking, Greg, should my first step be with my left foot? Or should my first step be with my right foot? Or should my first step be backwards? Or should I move forward? And then once we teach you which is the right direction to go, then boom, we find that the dealers take off, that they know what to do after that. We typically see that it's just that first, uh, first step. So uh, I didn't realize I didn't share the results. Sorry about that. So there are your results. Got too excited seeing that 80, 75% of you are currently doing that. I forgot to hit the share results button. Good, let's move forward. And just in conclusion, uh, we're gonna go to Q&A now. We have eight minutes left. I just wanted to show you one more time, uh, you know, transact, that was last week. Adopt was today. Next week, we're gonna talk about optimize. So for the 75% of you that are currently proposing, supporting, and implementing these solutions, where it will show you what your next step may be. And then the following Tuesday, we'll show you even the next step. Um, for those 25% of you who are not proposing and supporting and implementing a uh, adopt solution, again, just a reminder here, here's a, here's a slide uh, for you on what we think is the definition of an adopt partner. For the 75% of you that said that you are currently doing that, here you can see now what we're going to extend it to next week, okay? So check this out. We're, we're getting into security. There is a fantastic opportunity for you to provide cybersecurity 
for your customers. There is more ransomware, more phishing, more cybersecurity threats today than ever before. And it's being driven by COVID. It's a COVID driven situation. So security is a new opportunity for you in expanding your capabilities and in, opt in optimizing those environments that you are currently managing. So what are your options? Um, one option is do nothing. Um, and and it's, it's up to you. We're, we're, it's not for us to judge. What is your best business strategy? Your best business strategy as an owner, as an entrepreneur is to do whatever you think is best for you and your customers. Um, secondly, what can you do? Um, define the target market segments that you are currently covering and that you have capabilities to cover and then try to figure out what is the range of services that you can deliver, okay? That you can attach and then start to change the conversation with your customers and try and uncover more annuity-based services opportunities. Owners that are on the phone right now, change your commission plan to force the salespeople to attach annuity-based services. It's a matter of uh, priority. This is the end of the calendar year. Now is the time to change your HR policy, your commission policy to drive different behaviors of the salespeople and technical people in the field. Another option that you have, contact Grunt, uh, contact myself. We can help you find a third party. We, we have people, uh, not people, we have companies that have people inside them that are keen to support you and to uh, uh, have that type of relationship that I mentioned where they are a service provider for you and where you own the relationship. You're the single point of contact. You're the single invoicing unit, okay? And then, uh, you, you know, you can start to build that. Again, you can go two directions with a third party. You can look at this as a mentoring uh, 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 temporary situation, or you can say, I don't want to get into IT. I'm just going to outsource that. There's somebody that's better than me that, at that. I'm going to outsource it forever. I'm going to focus on what I'm passionate about, what I know about. That's the comm side. So there's, there's no right or wrong uh, in whatever direction you decide to go. It's always based on what is important to you. What, what do you measure in your business and what customers do you want to, to, um, to serve? Okay. Mental exercise for you again, between now and next Tuesday, think about your short term and long term goals and, um, you know, make sure that the KPIs that you want to achieve are measurable that achieve the growth that you need. Think about what do you need from ACE? Please tell us we're trying our very best to provide that, the, 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 you know, we, you know, kind of refer to it as the, the dealer transformation support that's going to be required to help you get there. Now, as Grant said, we're also using other parties to support us because we don't know everything. So, you know, we're talking about third party partnerships. We're actually doing it ourselves. So, and, and it works. So don't be afraid of it. And, and we're trying to build out our capabilities to support you who that's our customer so that you can support your customer. Okay. And I think this is our last, yep. This is the last poll. Has this module on adopt aided your business transformation execution? So I'll just put this poll out there and I'll be sure to show you the results. So please give us a yes or no answer on um, our poll. Thank you very much for the very quick uh, responses. And it looks like we've helped 90% 90, 90 of you, which is great. That's our goal is to, to, to support you and to give you the tools that you need. Um, for the person, the people that um, uh, answered no, please contact us. And um, perhaps this training today on this Tuesday um, wasn't uh, you know, the, the full extent of information. So perhaps you're just waiting for next Tuesday where we start to push out in to optimize and transform. Okay, so I'll stop sharing those results and uh, open it up, uh, Katie, if you don't mind, if you could take everyone off mute. And um, if anybody has any questions, comments, or feedback, looks like we've got two or three minutes here. Happy to stay on the line as well, if needed. 
Uh, Grant, if there's anything you would like to add, this is certainly a good time thank, to do yeah, that thank, as well. Thank you. Thank you for your times and your efforts. And I think, guys, this has been very, very informative. Um, and for me, it's, it's, it's also helped to, to get in front of you chaps and just, just let you know exactly what we do have to offer. And, and please don't be scared, you know, contact us, let's chat. Um, there's a lot of product that we have available to do any communications information, any communications Ugh. structures that we need you to do. So yeah, Nick, have a go, sir. How are you? Nicholas, you want to say something? Uh, no, sorry. I thought I was on mute. Sorry, mate. That's all right. So, folks, if there are any questions, please talk to us. Um, other than that, um, I think, Greg, thank you very much. I think it's been very informative. Um, Excellent. Yeah, I'd like to just step in and say something here quickly. I know we were talking about body-worn cameras a number of times. Uh, we have finally, after several months of negotiating left, right, and center with Motorola, um, we have... Uh, finalized our price list. I think Katie's actually in the, in the process of doing it. So that'll happen either today or, or by tomorrow. And we'll have, we'll have proper prices available. Uh, I am in the process of putting in a, a, a big order for Motorola um, for seed stock. And uh, we're looking at all the VT100s and the VB440 cameras and all the bits and pieces. Uh, and uh, these will be available in Australia and New Zealand. Um, so yeah, we watch, keep an eye out on your emails. There should be an email going out uh, and a special announcement going out imminently. And you can see that announcement right now, everyone on the screen, um, that ACE has been appointed the official Australia and New Zealand distributors of uh, the Motorola body worn cameras. This is exciting stuff. And um, as you can see, um, we're moving away from radio communications. You know, we're, we're moving into kind of a, a new world here. This, there's, th this data needs to be stored. Um, this data needs to be analyzed. Um, so there's, you can see there's a tremendous amount of opportunities uh, related to this. Great, and if there are no questions, I just wanna make sure we stay right here on time because other people have other calls to go to at specific times is um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, Greg Eckstein on LinkedIn. Um, you all have Grant's phone numbers and everything. Um, we will talk to you next Tuesday. Looking forward to supporting all of you, giving you all the information that you're going to need to maximize the value that you bring to your customers such that you remain relevant uh, well into the future and most importantly, maximizing your profitability. So thank you very much, everyone, for your time. And uh, again, as Grant said, please don't be shy. Don't be scared. Feel free to reach out to us. Guys, don't Thank forget, you. please, you need to register for next week's um, webinar and the week after. So it wasn't one registration for all four. Each week is a separate registration. So please make sure that you register for next week's and for the 8th of December. Thank you. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thank Thanks you very for much. joining us. Thanks, guys. Thank Have you, a lov Kevin. lovely week. And uh, let's do some business. Have a good <laughs> week. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.